Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker back with Injustice 2. We left off with Captain Cold. Now we're on to Black Adam. Black Adam. We're gonna go baby easy mode because that's how I roll. <laughs> Alright, ready to rock with more Injustice. And uh, more of my uh, complete cluelessness of the DC universe. <laughs> But I'm learning stuff. Because <laughs> one thing I like about the DC universe is that uh, they have all these universes within. So even though some people might get confused, it's like, okay, well, I know of this timeline. So yeah. I, I don't really know Black Adam. I'm going to be completely honest. I know he's like one of Shazam's uh, um, main baddie eyes. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's about. I just know that in this one, he's kind of a badass. <laughs> okay, how do I play game? Well, I just tossed a gator at her, so this is good. <laughs> he's pretty OP, actually, because he kind of melted Harley earlier. <laughs> See his little wind pose. Whoa! He could give Raiden a run for his money. <laughs> and also from Injustice, Dr. Fate seems like an interesting character too. So, you know, I'm actually learning some stuff here, which is kind of cool. And like, um, you know, I might actually check out some of these stories as well. <coughs> Because what I could do is, like, look up some of the best storylines for some of these characters and then, you know, have a good read on those. Because if I have any questions, I can always go to the Wikipedia article of said character. Eh, I keep wanting to make this Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's not really Mortal Kombat. It is freaking injustice. Two! Shazam, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's do this. Don't throw an onk at me, sir. Because Black Adam, isn't he... Uh, I do got a question, though. Is he Egyptian? Because that's what I'm kind of getting from his... Um, like, throughout the story mode of this. Because I didn't know that about him. If so, that's kind of... That, I'm not kind of cool. It's pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's see if I can hit him with this. Got him! <laughs> Damn, son. So I don't know if he himself is Egyptian or if just the power that he has is an Egyptian power. That's all I need to know. Because <laughs> again, I'm not familiar with uh, freaking. <laughs> I'm really not familiar with Shazam's story. I just know that the character himself is, uh, is a small kid that turns into an adult. <laughs> and it's really dark that in Injustice 1, Superman fried his brains out. That's fucked up. <laughs> but yeah, like, man. Ah. <laughs> and you know what's funny? I, I want to record a bunch ahead of time just so I can play more Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I got so into my recording of it. It's insane. <laughs> I, uh, all the characters and they give me a mirror match. Really? Oh well, whatever. Whatever. No, no time to bitch now. <laughs> but yeah, I got so into playing Chrono Trigger. I got like uh, four episodes recorded. Um, I'm trying to think. You know what? You people who played the game will know what I mean. The Red Star has a, a fallen in the past, so that's where I'm at right now. And I forgot how well paced that game is because my god a lot of stuff that's happened is like uh, you know Happening faster than I thought and I was like well shit. It's really cool <laughs> So yeah, it's like it's one of those things where it's just like oh, well then. I guess I'm learning something. It's good. <laughs> Hmm, now I got to fight the Joker. 
who I did see his uh, trailer for uh, MK11, and I gotta say, I'm actually very happy to see that the that uh, they, you know, first off improved the character model so it doesn't look like the porn parody, <laughs> and second, they made him like a completely different character than from uh, Injustice 2. So th I'm really happy about that. And he looks interesting, and he looks like a really fun character to play. So yeah, like, I, yo, that's, you know what? That's good crossover potential right there. I mean, like, uh, Injustice in MK is probably gonna happen. I have a feeling it will. Because Injustice isn't afraid to get a little dark. <laughs> Plus, you know, you got all the parallel worlds and timelines and yada yada yada, so you can get away with it. Even though I feel like the uh, time travel stuff was a bit of a crutch in MK, but you know, that's my personal opinion on it. Didn't change the fact that I really do enjoy the MK series, though. Ooh, I got a new body armor. Mmm, delicious. Let's fight Brainiac now. Because uh, Black Adam looks like he can melt opponents, and that's really cool. <laughs> on this freezing rainy day. Ugh. Get fucked. Okay, we got Brainiac. I wonder what Black Adam's story is gonna be, actually. Because I thought I could predict some of the stories, but then some of them did a little sh thing. I can't help but feel, though, he's gonna be, like, super evil, though. <laughs> he's not gonna get some sort of, like, weird redemption arc or anything like that, so. Not by the long shot. If anything, I could see him totally taking over the world and defeating Superman, because fuck that guy, right? <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Black Adam is such a strong boy. Ow! Okay. Sorry I said that, Brainiac. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Ah! Oh, he has a scorpion spear! <laughs> That was basically a get over here. <laughs> Ow, Mr. Tentacle Man, why? It's electric, baby. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's gonna go on with Mr. Black Adam. I returned to find Condock devastated from Brainiac's attack. My beloved queen was dead. I brought her broken body to the Lazarus Pits, intent on her resurrection. But my entry was barred by Rachel Ghoul. He offered a trade. Access to the pits in exchange for my aid in bringing him to power. Rache admired Superman's regime, but felt it should have gone further. While I have no love for Rache, I accepted his terms. I would pay any price to again feel the embrace of my dearest wife. Oh, that's actually really tragic. Holy shit. I was thinking, oh, it's going to be evil and shit. No, God, <laughs> God damn. Oh, that was actually really cool, though. Like for like the storyline itself. I'm actually quite glad that they're like not going for the predictable, which is awesome. So I'm actually quite enjoying that. Uh, yeah. Damn. Let's see what other surprises are uh, gonna happen in Injustice 2, but that'll be next week. So this is Edgy Berserker signing off on Injustice 2. Till next episode, I will see y'all later. Bye now.